Good morning from Goodwick. We're just crossing the um, harbour front, I guess, of the ferry port, and then we'll be heading towards Fishguard as we start day six on the Pembrokeshire coast path. Uh, I've just about managed to squeeze my feet into my shoes this morning. How are you feeling, Steve? All right. Good. Didn't sleep well, but other than that, all good. And uh, hopefully pushing towards St Dogwell's to finish this uh, coastal path off today. Yeah. See over to Goodwick where we started this morning, and now we've just got to Fishguard Fort. Hold on. Add one. Add one. Add one. <laughs> well done. I've added a stick. Nothing like special family moments. So we're climbing up from Newport Sands, quite a steep gradient on the bit we've just come off, so actually this bit of hill is a bit more relaxing. Steve is eating tiffin from the Honeycomb. beach cafe, which is uh, just down there. We had lunch in uh, Newport Parog, and this is the part of the coastline that we were doing before lunch.
So we've got about 12k left on our Pembrokeshire coast path adventure. We just come into this uh, little cove here. We've been hearing seals. Oh, its head's just popped up there. It is actually chasing the kayakers, I think. <laughs> He's got them cornered. <laughs> yeah, we've been hearing seals today, but we haven't actually spotted any. And then we've just seen one swimming in this bay here. Yeah, lots of caves. The kayakers are exploring a cave over there, so they've disappeared out of sight. So the kayakers are coming out now. We don't really know whether they know that they just had a nice experience with a seal. They seem to have some sort of push-me-pull-you arrangement with them facing each other in the blue and yellow one, so... But a bit like that double-ended fire engine I saw in Russia once. <laughs> I'll put the picture on. But then I'm no kayaking expert, so who knows, maybe that's some sort of uh, technique. Right, on we go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I know you're coming for some grass or something, but hello. You're like PJ, you are, aren't you? Hey, no, don't eat me. Hello, little one. You all right? Take care. Nice to see you. Well, you can reach over and get your grass. That's good. Oh, Steve's off. Better keep going. Hello. You all right? Hi. Oh, you're lovely too, aren't you? Hey. Take care, be happy. So we're coming down to Poppet Sands, last beach of this trip. From here, it's a pretty flat 2.6 kilometers to the finish at St. Dog Miles, but this is the bay, here's the estuary, and on the far side, I've lost it now because there's a hedge. <laughs> See, now, on the far side is Cardiganshire. So, very close to the end. How are you feeling, Dean? Oh, all right. That last two kilometre descent on tarmac has yeah. probably just about finished us, yeah. isn't it? Hopefully we've got 2.6 kilometres of flat left in us. Yeah. <laughs> and there oh. is the car park for the sands. Oh, close. <laughs> Getting close now. Nearly there. So here we are in oh. the edge of St Dogmills. Yeah. And just ahead of us, we can see a stone that I think signals the, I'm going to say end of the Pembrokeshire coast path because I really don't want to be saying it's the start, Stevie, because then we have to go back. Day six done, and a Pembrokeshire coast path done. Hmm. Oh, well done, Stevie. Well done, you. Right, Here it is. I see puffins. It's got a puffin on it. It must be a good sign. Yeah, yeah that is a good sign. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Woo! Ooh, stop the clock. <laughs> There we go, look at the map. So, started at Amorous, <laughs> all the way around, in and out. We're all getting quite swingy on this. Sure, that of focus. <laughs> so, we made it to St. Dogmails. We'd covered 300 kilometres, 186 miles, in the six days as planned since we left Amroth at the start of our Coast Path adventure. The weather was good throughout, the scenery was great, and we've lots of memories to reflect on. We were tired, and our bodies were a little battered, but we finished it, and in good spirits. All that was left to do was a quick change to meet our lift home, my Uncle Kev, the Pastor Bait King, at the Ferry Inn for a nice dinner, before a short drive back to my grandparents, with the thoughts of a lie-in, and the knowledge that we probably weren't going to go for a run the next day. Well, we figured we'd earned at least one day off. We'll share our highlights, kit and lessons learned in another video, but until then, it would be great if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>